Now, let's turn to essentially the core of this program, SMEs. Invest in Africa is a partnership of leading private sector businesses. It's launched the African Partner Pool over here in Kenya. Now, the app is a platform, essentially, designed to bridge the gap between much larger organizations and local SMEs, allowing them to do business a lot more efficiently together. According to a recent report, SMEs find it pretty difficult to get access to business opportunities available from their much larger counterparts. Conversely, Big businesses often complain they can't find reliable local SMEs that can deliver what they actually need on time and on budget. As Invest so in Africa, then, what we're doing is trying to see Ooh. how do we create solutions around those challenges that are presented. One is, can we create one platform, a marketplace, where SMEs can log into, get into, and try and address some of those challenges they face? Can we be sure that for big business, that if, yes, they want to support local enterprise, that they can go somewhere and find SMEs who have been verified, vali uh, validated, and who have some proven track record? So that's the other solution that we're providing. So then let's figure out exactly how this works. Ibrahim Aminu is the manager of the African Partner Pool in Ghana. He joins me in studio right now. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Um, this platform has been operating in Ghana since 2014, October 2014, if I have my numbers right. Um, how has it worked since then? Give us a sense of the numbers around the platform. Yeah, you're quite right. Um, the APP in, 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 Ghana, in Ghana is, is just about two and a half years old. I think we've made great strides over that period in um, having about 806 million worth of tenders that have been uploaded on our portal. Um, we've had about 80, uh, you know, tenders that have been won by indigenous Ghanaian businesses. These are businesses that under normal circumstances wouldn't have had the opportunity to even understand what is required by a big multinational. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in your introduction you mentioned that, you know, apart from not knowing what's happening with the multinational, the, the local indigenous businesses don't have the right capacity, they don't have the right skill set, they don't have the right financial backing to be able to um, plug into the supply chains of these multinationals. And I think that's where the work that Invest in Africa does comes in. With the African Partner Pool, we not only provide you access to the market, we also provide you access to uh, skills via our capacity building exercises and indeed finance via our various banking partners as well. So how, how do you make money? Because I mean, it's all well and good for us to say, okay, yes, there's a platform, you act as a matchmaker between multinationals on one end, SMEs on the other, but when it comes down to it, how do you actually keep the lights on? So how we do that is, is, is relatively simple. I, I think, I think the, the, the whole idea is to, is to provide access to business, and we wouldn't want to cannibalize the SMEs in that process as well. So it's a simple subscription model where the SMEs pay a subscription uh, to, to, to join the pool, and indeed the buyers who are also going to source locally pay a subscription fee. Mm -hmm. and, and effectively, that's what keeps us in business. Um, we, 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 you know, we've, we've considered various options that looks at, uh, you know, perhaps maybe looking at how we can get some commission based on the, the transactions that occur on that. Um, but but, but we, we, we firmly believe that our, our work is, is really anchored on providing opportunity. Mm -hmm. and, and when we're providing opportunity, we shouldn't also be seen to be, um, you know, the same people trying to profit from it. Uh, because at the end of the day, for us, it's really how can we grow local content? How can we grow the local economies? Because um, as, as you might be aware, that, that SMEs are the largest employers. They, they contribute the largest percentage of any GDP of every country. And they are the largest job creators as well. Exactly. So, so the more jobs are created, the more salaries are paid, the more taxes are paid, and the, the economy overall benefits. And I think for us, that's our primary goal. Um, coming from the information business, it seems to me, when I looked at you know, your business model, it sounds like one of the most valuable commodities you have here is just the sheer amount of data that you have coming through from both the SME side and the multinationals because it gives you a, a pretty close, you effectively have a finger on the pulse of the economies in which you operate it. How do you monetize that? Well, what we do is that we, 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 we provide the, the, the big buyers the, the opportunity to be able to track and monitor their socioeconomic impact how much of their business is actually translating into hard-earned money for uh, an enterprise. Um, how many jobs does that create? How many taxes, uh, you know, how much amount of that money is retained in country? And I think for us, it's really to be able to, to display that data to, to the wide uh, business community so that, so that people have their finger on the data that of, 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 of the work that the APP is doing mm -hmm. to understand exactly how much of that money is retained in country. 
Um, you know, big businesses, multinationals always come into virgin territory with their own supply chains intact. Yeah. And we want to be able to provide local indigenous businesses an opportunity to plug into these supply so chains. So effectively you're creating the ecosystem, so to speak, or essentially mapping it out. You can tell Talo or whoever, come in, plug into this, job done. Exactly. Support. So these suppliers are validated, they're verified. We make sure that they are who they say they are. We make sure that we, we verify the information via f public records. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and the more information you upload on your profile, yeah. the more marketable you become for the buyer to be able to choose your goods and services. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of commercial reference checks to make sure that um, you know, it's, it's almost like a CV that you put up. Yeah. So we, we check to make sure that you have indeed delivered at the right quantity at the right standard that is desired by the, by the big buyer. So that it gives confidence to the buyer community that there has been a certain level of due diligence that has taken place before I can employ your services. All right. It's a fascinating conversation, Ibrahima. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.